that be? Cerberus? Let me help you. Resisted me. Join me. Such a frail one at that. Has the Titan Lord a lack for decent help? You... are you... the master of this beast? The master of this beast? <laughs> well, if I'm to be remembered, I could think of far worse ways than that. Though this beast has yet to so much to snarl at you. Lord Hades, you're my... father. I'm... Melinoe. I'm your daughter. <sighs> My daughter? Melinoe? Merciful fates! You cannot be here. He shall find you. He'll find you and... I'll slay him where he stands. Where is he? He's in my blasted house. Where you were meant to be, and I. Look at me, daughter. I cannot confront him on my own. What do you expect shall happen? I expect he'll underestimate me. Father, let me free you from these bonds. No. No, that would bring greater ruin, nothing more. Now get out of this place. Then let me lend to you what strength I still possess. I'll be back for you. Don't be a fool. Ferocious Cerberus yet guards his master dutifully, having discovered him within these depths. Stay back. Got it. Greetings, father. What are you doing here again? I told you, you cannot be here. And I told you I'd be back for you. Though my priority is Kronos. You vanquished him before. Can you reveal to me any weaknesses? Anything at all? I vanquished him with the aid of five other gods. What hope have you alone? He has no weakness, save his arrogance. And it appears you have that weakness too. Then it seems we are equally matched. Father... How long have you been this way? Is there aught I can do? You think I have any sense of time in such a place? And I've said already what you can do. Risk not. You're everything. Go now, and be unseen. What? Where? Father? But Lord Hades, I... You have your orders. Now return to Shadow, and take care of her, for all of us. No harm shall come to young Melinoe, my lord. In this, at least, I shall not fail you. Farewell. Goodbye, daughter. to me.
Hello, Hades. Ah, there you are, my son. Grown a full beard and a broad frame, I see. And now you have a family of your own. How full of life they are, despite the dour environs. Greetings, father. I was not expecting your arrival. You must forgive us that the house was unprepared for guests. To what do we owe the pleasure of your company? Oh, you know, for one thing, I was in the area. You might recall the time you, Zeus, and the rest of you little brats cut me to ribbons, sprinkled all my bits all throughout Tartarus. Father, that was a war you started and you know it. We took no joy in what we had to do. But how can this be? I thought that you were gone. Do not sound so disappointed. It is I who should be disappointed here, not you. You thought I was gone? I was. But it turns out spite is a powerful motivator. Blood sacrifices also helped. What do you intend to do? And what have you done to the others? To my family? Your cries fall on deaf ears. Fear not, my son. I have not eaten them or anything. I have merely set them aside. They stand imprisoned in a moment that shall never pass. My qualm is not with them. Olympus shall have your head. You can take mine for all I care, blast you. But don't you dare harm anybody in my house. You have grown so accustomed to issuing commands that you forget yourself. Though I do have such a command for you. Tell me exactly where the fates reside. The fates? How should I know? Not even Nyx herself knows where her daughters are. Why are you... asking me? Cerberus! It's you. When Kronos took our family and the house, and you bade the Witch of the Crossroads take me, I remember it somehow. Or dreamt of it. Did he... demand you tell him of the fates? How could you possibly? He did. Perhaps the fates themselves permitted you that bit of insight. He did his worst to discover where they hide. Though it would have failed, even if I did possess the knowledge that he sought. Wait, you never told Kronos how to find the fates? Then how did he? Because he's captured them. Not long ago, perhaps, but nonetheless, I'm certain of it. <laughs> if this is true, well then my father's plan for conquest is much closer to fruition than I thought. I do not know how he could find the fates, but if they can do nothing against him now... Daughter, what chance do you have? It is done. Now go. There's nothing here of use. It won't be for naught. Where's Cerberus, father? He's usually right here. I saw him in the fields as before. He runs amok at my behest. Spreads the attention of the Titan to legions thin. Eventually they drive him back, but can do him no harm. So just you and the boulder then? Looking as though it's not been heaved up any hills in quite a while. Kronos doesn't make you do it. I'd have less difficult a time than a mere shade. Besides, these shackles cannot be unlocked, save by the Titan's command. But I'd remain here for eternity before I'd grovel at his feet. You say this boulder was companion to a mortal king. I sense something from it. There can be so much energy within a common stone. I'll take you at your word. The boulder and I were not as close as was its last relationship. Though perhaps you shall coax something from it. The witch apparently has taught you everything. I know you cannot hear me, but if you have comforted my father in his plight, thank you. I know 
not how you withstood the Titan if truly you confronted him. Quickly now, tell me about this. Have you been... Are you well? Am I... well? All my life I've been preparing for this moment, to bring the usurper of the House of Hades to justice. So, I'll have to get back to you, depending on how it goes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get back to me if you must. I'd grant your vengeance if I could. But this is all that I can do for now. Father. What has that blasted titan done to Cerberus? That he should storm into this place with such abandon only to be ushered out again? It takes a small army of satyrs to drive him back. Kronos casts him out into the morning fields above. Then rage and despair congeal about him, and his better senses take leave. My own path leads me through where he resides. So you must face him in that sorry state. Thank you, daughter, for taking pity on the moody beast. He has seen better, but been through worse. You were too young to form a bond before, but perhaps it is not too late. There. Now get out of here. Thank you, Father. Back again. Father, while I know this wasn't necessarily permitted, I thought if maybe it would be of any comfort at all that I might offer you this nectar. Exactly like your brother, Blast. I fear I'm not in any mood or state for such a thing. Concern yourself not with my comfort, but with the target of your wrath. Such a cacophony occurred after you last visited. Exactly when I cannot say. All of the Titan's wretched servants flew into a panic. Their cries would not cease. What transpired? Perhaps they were concerned for their master, or busy trying to bring him back to life. Because I slew him, finally. And it won't be the last time. Blood and darkness. <laughs> Then you accomplished that which once took half the blasted strength of Olympus, all on your own. Not on my own at all. I had their strength, if not their support, as you've given me yours. Father, we can stop him. And for now, we can kill him. He shall seek vengeance with a renewed zeal. This entire plot of his is driven by the same impulse. Then kill him if you must. At least... His many deaths ought to keep him occupied. Granted. Three-headed Cerberus eyes every surface of the chamber all at once. Okay, okay. Is that you? You have the death defiance. Runs in the family. Your brother Zagreus. He was also rather sturdy for his stature. Hard-headed as a boy. Don't speak of him as though he's gone. Kronos has him, and mother, and the rest. But when all this is over, we'll see each other again. Okay. Greetings, father. It hurts my heart to see you like this, Father. But it brings me peace. And strength. Helps that this chamber isn't crawling with satyrs. Oh, they have sense enough to keep their distance from me. Or perhaps Cerberus. Well, if seeing me in this pitiable state should spur you to your fullest wrath, then so be it. That's not quite it. I don't feel loathing or hatred. Elsewhere in Tartarus, perhaps, but not here. Not anymore. I just hope my presence doesn't cause you further pain. No. The only pain is that your mother and I, your brother, this dog, that we were not... We could not be there to see you grow. Each time I see you now, it fills an absence that was there. 
can you be so certain? To make such guarantees of the unknown. The Titan. My father. He shall not stop. He is the most hard-headed of us all. I cannot believe that I am asking, but... How fares Olympus in all this? Even trapped within this chamber, it is evident to me that the Titan's legions are at war. The surface swarms with the dead, and the armies of Kronos are besieging the mountain. Our family is holding them back. I've been trying to break the stalemate in their favor, but all in all, it's not a pretty sight up there right now. Not a pretty sight up there? You mean to say you've seen all this firsthand? How? You mean our birthright? Would you believe I learned a means by which I could withstand the surface climate for a while? Long enough to make a difference up there. Or to try. Impossible. Yet seemingly all these impossibilities continue to occur. So you must vanquish the Titan, as well as come to the rescue of Olympus. How utterly absurd that you are burdened with all that. It's me. Whenever you return, so does a portion of my strength. Very well. Now off with you. Cerberus, take care of him, okay? Um, greetings, father. Nix herself. Even she was powerless against the Titan. Two of Night Incarnate's own sons served in my house along with her. I suppose he has them too. No, Hypnos is with us. Fast asleep for all this time. Perhaps some sort of defensive response, but we have found no way to wake him. Brave Skelemius is with us as well. Hypnos asleep again. And I have no recollection of that other name. But time has worn on me, perhaps. Regardless, if the witch yet leads the unseen, the will of night is not yet lost. It's... me. Daughter, tell me what became of the Witch of the Crossroads, should you know. When all seemed lost, your mother and I, we left you in her care. And she has cared for me ever since. Prepared me. Though we had best not speak of her in these chambers. Suffice it to say, the Unseen remain in shadow. Good. She was... Well, as you say, we'd best say nothing more. Though if you have the opportunity, extend to her my deepest gratitude. It's me. My brothers each are aiding you, are they? Zeus doubtless leading from behind the safety of his palace walls. Poseidon blustering as though his victory is already at hand. Father, they're fighting to defend their home. And they're fighting for you. You're right that neither one is much inclined to show concern, but why should they? Fear spreads. They sat oblivious upon the surface realm for far too long. But do not listen to my rantings about them. Had you known your own brother, perhaps you'd better understand the impulse for such ill-conceived remarks. Go. Fear not for me. Fierce hellhound Cerberus has many fangs, but little trust to spare. Some other time. <laughs> Cerberus, take care of him, okay? Father? The darkness stirs in such a way as I've not felt since very long ago. This cannot be the Titan's work. It must be that of the Witch of the Crossroads, if not you. Father, in shadow I serve, to shadow I return. Thus have I sworn the oath of the Unseen who serve this realm and execute the will of night. I know less of the Unseen than you suppose, as it should be, lest the Titan could have learned much more. Then may you serve the will of night judiciously. Cerberus, look who it is. Daughter, tell me something of yourself. For I know not a thing. For instance, what is it that you like to do when you are not attempting this? What do I like to do? Well, I ensure all of my reagents are in order. 
So when practicing my craft, what I need is always close at hand. And I like to... Ugh, father, this rings false. Hmm. Neither the time nor place for trivialities. Perhaps, however, at some point, we may discuss such matters more. But there are scores to settle first. The once feared underworld king resembles now the wretched and the damned that here were shackled in his stead, until the scheming titan Kronos cut them loose. Unforgivable. Melanoe? Your mother was so proud when you were born. We did not always think that we would have another child, but we decided to try again. And you did the most important thing parents can do. You protected me. As for my mother, I know her beautiful smile. The way she's looking at me in the painting that I have. The painting, it survived. The witch, she must have taken it. And such a risk for such a thing. Know that your mother's radiance cannot be captured, no matter the artist's skill. All bound in chains of hardest adamant, the erstwhile lord and master of the dead now as a prisoner within the realm the fates themselves decreed was his by right. I'm sorry, father. The scent of blood. You're injured. And you expect to face the titan still? At least you're in the right place should you die. I won't be dying here no matter what. As for my injuries... Perhaps Lord Charon has some life essence in stock. Even now, the boatman plies his trade? Absurd. Our entire operation was shot down. Although, I ought to remember that he serves this realm, not me. This chamber, it once held a prisoner of mine. A mortal king who had attempted to cheat death. I forced the wretch to heave that boulder up that path forever. He forgave me anyway. Forget him, father. What purpose does it serve to dwell on some dead mortal now? Kronos wants you to wallow in your guilt. Don't. You misunderstand. The prisoner, he was called Sisyphus the King. His boulder there was like a friend. He asked his friend to keep me company. Until more company arrived, he said. Well, then I'm grateful to that boulder and the king. Kronos must not have accounted for your former prisoners being fond of you. Oh, most of them are not. Some chose to join the Titan's legions and remain here in Tartarus. Not anywhere I cast my gaze, of course. Daughter, if you'd indulge a senseless curiosity, how fares my house? Your brother... He was more or less in charge of the decor. I highly doubt the Titan shares his taste. Well, unless Sagrius was enamored of gold trim and the Titan's sneering likeness everywhere, then it's probably quite different from what you recall. Oh, you have your mother's candor to a fault. You ought to have told me everything was fine. The comfort of lies at times is all we have, daughter. This is not how I imagined my daughter would spend the evenings of her youth. Greetings. He is no mere titan. He is time itself. And time cannot be stopped. You risk too much by visiting me here. Why? Well, go take your vengeance. Our family, we've more than enough to spare. Be well, Lord Father. Oh, daughter. Thank you for looking after Cerberus. Go look after yourself. Cease with this foolishness, daughter. There is no stopping him. He is inevitability itself. It's you. Take no unnecessary risks and go unseen, daughter. Now go. Crossroads swore no harm would come to you. Ensure she keeps her word. I've little strength of late, but you shall have it nonetheless. Be 
on your way, Delta. I recall. You have vanquished the Titan before. You know full well what it takes. Go take your vengeance. Our family, we've more than enough to spare. I thought that one would never leave. Um, greetings, father. My son would never listen to me. I was a fool to think it a distinctive trait. <laughs>